Hey guys, welcome back to Half Minute Tech. I'm going to be talking about an update today that came out yesterday and it's iOS 14.3 Beta 2. This is now available to developer beta testers and to public beta testers at the time I'm recording this video. So either or you, this is an update that you can check out if you have the public beta or developer beta profile. So this was actually an update that came out as an emergency update sort of because it came three days after beta one and the reason why it came out so fast was because it had to fix an issue that had to do with the iphone xs there were issues with those devices on beta one whereby it would just crash application would crash and then the device itself would also crash and restart so i don't have the iphone xs but i have the iphone x and on beta one that wasn't an issue that i was experiencing it's strange that that issue was only affecting the iphone xs and then also there was a text bug with beta one and that's why this update came so quick in order to fix those issues because apple was getting a lot of feedback you know when it comes to these bugs and so to the people that were reporting those bugs using the feedback app thank you for doing that you guys made this possible now in terms of how this update came in for me if we go to the photos let me just go there so that i show you the size for me so for me on my iphone 6s that you see here the update size was around 313.8 megabytes which was so small and i should say that updating to this update was actually smooth and seamless. I had no issues at all. And if I'm to show you the software changes that I have here after updating, so general, and then if we go to the about section, you can see the version that I have that it's 14.3 and the build number is 18C5054C. This build number has a C at the end and compared to the F that we had on beta one, it's relatively more stable. Now, also if we go to see how much space this update is taking, so it just takes a moment to load let's go down you can see that it's taking 7.44 gig that's no almost the same as what was there on beta one so no change when it comes to the system storage being taken up by this update now in terms of new features and changes that came with this update the first one has to do with the widget the clock widget so if you have the clock widget this update fixes an issue whereby the clock widget would not work from time to time or display a blank screen here or display the wrong time. So this update fixes that. And if you have an iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max, this update adds pro video so there was an issue with that on beta one and in order for you to turn on that pro raw video you'd have to go into your settings and then go to your camera which is right here and then this is where you would see an option to turn on that pro raw video on the iphone 12 pro and 12 pro max this is an iphone 6s so this is not something that you're going to see and then also something else that changed with this update has to do with the shortcut app so if you create a new custom app using the shortcut app it's no longer going to open using the shortcut app like before it's just going to open up like a normal application so let's say for example geekbench if you have a shortcut for that you just open directly into the app without seeing the transition that will be there you might get a pop-up on the top of the screen that says the shortcut has been initiated but it won't do the transition like it was doing before now the next change that came with this update has to do with the podcast so you notice that if you open the podcast app you get this plus screen that says welcome to podcast and then it will show you what's new and then you can click continue and see what's inside the podcast app so that's another change and then the next one has to do with settings if you go to settings and then you go to privacy and if you scroll down to where it says analytics and improvements you can see that they have removed fitness app sharing now this is quite strange because on the apple watch update which is watch away 7.2 beta 2 they actually mentioned apple fitness plus so this ios 14.3 beta 2 removes that which is kind of off but anyways that's a change that came with this update and then if you are missing certain text or some of your text were misaligned this has also been fixed with this update now when it comes to some uh, issues or bugs that are there with this update the first one has to do with dropping connection so sometimes you may be on a call on the iphone 12 and the iphone 8 plus and if you are on a call sometimes your network might drop 
or your Wi-Fi connection might drop from time to time. The, at this time, it seems to be affecting the iPhone 12 and 8 Plus users. So keep an eye out for this. And then also something else that's known with this update is that if you have an iPad and you have multiple accounts, that is not actually working as it's supposed to. So it's an issue with this update. And then some people are mentioning that when they go into their settings and then go to where it says software update, this is not an update that they are seeing so i don't know if it's affecting all devices but it's a random thing that different people are reporting also something else to watch out for is that some people are reporting that they are seeing a text notification bug so i'm i haven't seen that yet on my iphone 6s so yeah do keep an eye out for this and then some people are mentioning that when they go in their photos app photos that were taken over a week ago are not showing i checked mine and the photos that were taken over a week ago are actually showing so it's a bug that's affecting different users and devices at this time now when it comes to battery performance i actually updated and my device was on 88 percent so until i updated it's been about five hours and you can see that i've actually dropped and i'm on 71 percent so compared to beta one that's actually not so bad because beta one i was having like terrible battery life and then when it comes to performance i should say that let's close all applications so that i show you how it's opening so check out how settings open and then check out like geekbench how fast it open and with regards to geekbench i actually did run some scores just to see how it's performing compared to the other uh, scores that i had before so let's see for cpu performance you can see that for single core i had a score of 555 and multi core i had a score of uh, 942 and if we were to compare this to other devices you can see that for single core i'm ahead and then this is just comparison to other iphone 6s average so you can see that when it comes to single core i'm ahead and then when it comes to multi-core you can see that my device is performing slightly lower than what the average success is getting so this is how it is i wouldn't say it's bad when it comes to geekbench scores so let's see the other history that we have here which is the other version that i was on so you can see that it's actually better when it comes to both single core and multi core performance so that's the geekbench scores and i'm happy with this update and that's how it basically came in for me on my iphone 6s i'm going to be continuously testing and if i notice something that's off i'll notify you on twitter so make sure you check me out there and basically that's about it for me when it comes to ios 14.3 beta 2 on my iphone 6s other than that stay safe and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in the next video very soon peace